Hello friends, in this video we will solve this problem for any string in C programming language. So in this problem they have given a string. So let's consider this string L, M, N, O, P. So the ASCII values of each character respectively is this. That is 108, 9, 10, 11 and 12. So the difference between the adjacent ASCII values will be 1 in each case. That is the difference between 108 and 9 is 1. 9 and 10 is 1, 10 and 11 is 1, and 11 and 12 is 1. So, this is the difference array we get from the ASCII values of original string. So, then after we have to reverse this original string. So, the reverse string will be this P O N M L. So, the respective ASCII values of each character will be this 112, 11, 10, 9, 8. So, we have to find the difference between the adjacent. ASCII values. So in this case also the difference will be 1 that is 12 minus 11 1 11 and 10 1 10 and 9 1 and 9 minus 8 is also 1. So the difference is always 1 in both the cases that is original string and the reverse string that is original ASCII values of the original strings and ASCII values of reverse string. So when the difference is same in adjacent elements of original string and reverse strings also, we have to return the funny, that is the string is funny. And when the difference of the original string and the reverse string is not equal, that is this array is not same for the both the strings, then we have to return not funny. So I will explain it with an example so consider this example a c x z so in this case the reverse string will be z x c a and the ascii value of a is 97 c is 99 x is 120 and z is 122 and the ascii values of z x c a will be z's ascii value is 122 x is 120 c is 99 and a is 97 so if you calculate the difference between the adjacent value of this first string ASCII values that is 99 minus 97 is 2, 120 minus 99 is 21 and 122 minus 120 is also 2 and in same manner if you calculate the difference between the adjacent values it will come out to be the same. So in this case the string is funny so we return funny. And considering this second example BCXZ, so this is the example of for BCXZ. So the reverse string will be ZXCB. So the corresponding ASCII values will be 98, 99, 120, 122 for BCXZ. And for the reverse string, the ASCII values will be this. So in the first case, the adjacent difference between the string strings character will be this that is 99 minus 98 is 1 120 99 is 21 and 22 and 120 is 2 so the reverse strings difference will be this so it is simply the reversed reversed array of these values so these are the reversed values of this array so in the case in, in the case where reversed array and the normal array is not matching then we have to print not funny so we will follow this approach to solve the problem so we will jump to the function so in the function we will take a size variable so that our problem solving solving will be easier to understand so we'll store strln minus 1 into a size variable and we have to define an array dynamically so that we can store the difference between the adjacent ascii values so we'll use malloc we will make this array of size 
each element will be of size int so after that we will run a loop to find the difference between the adjacent element so this loop will run till size and i++ so after that we will count the difference between the adjacent element and will store it in arr of i that is this dynamically allocated array so for the first iteration we will also use the absolute function to find the absolute difference between the adjacent element that is s of i minus s of i plus 1 so after completion of this loop we will get the adjacent difference and stored in this array so this is the loop after this loop we will just check if the normal array and reversed array is same or not so for that we will run a loop till starting from i equal to 0 and j equal to size minus 1 so we will check the first and last element of the array and then second and second last element of array so to see if the reversed array and normal array is same i plus plus and j minus minus so in this loop if we'll check condition if error of i is not equal to error of j so if any of so for the any con any iteration of i and j are not matching for the element then we have to make our flag equal to zero so for that we will define here a flag variable we'll make it initially as one so whenever this condition is satisfying the flag will become zero and we will check after if flag equal to zero then we have to return not funny otherwise we have to return funny so this is the completion of our function we will run our code so first two test cases are passed we will submit our code so all the test cases are passed so if you want more solutions on hackerang Please subscribe to my channel and you can watch my hackerang playlist for other solutions. Thank you for watching.